most extraordinary. You know, sometimes I question myself, why do I do this to myself? <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to Jamoru 16, I am your host Javon, and today we have a brand new benchmark, today we're playing the Puppeteer for the PS3. That's right, today we're testing out the RPCS3 emulator once again on my Intel Core i7-4790 with the AMD RX 570 4GB VRAM graphics card. We're running with 16GB of DDR3 RAM in dual channel memory and we're about to feel some real pain because the i7, I imagine, is going to struggle with this game. Nonetheless, let's start the game. So as you know, if you're new to the channel, basically what I do is I play the game on default. The whole point is to see how far the RPCS3 emulation progress has come for a lower end CPU. Normally on YouTube, you see guys with six cores and eight cores, and I got a four core and eight thread CPU trying to do RPCS3. This ain't real for people, man, but it is real for me. So we're gonna test this out and see what happens. Let's see if what we can get out of the game here. And okay, I just thought, really thought to myself that everything was just dark. I just thought everything was really dark and I couldn't play the game and that sucked. Okay, okay, so I just want to get into the game and see what happens first. Ooh, that looks painful. Now, it's the puppeteer, guys. Dance who left his head in the there, hey, it runs, though. Listen, you're going to drop dead if you go without a head. And I'll be the one stuck with cleanup. Come on, let's find something else you can use. A substitute head. I'm really shocked that it's running What's right now. In there? It's a head Perhaps I'll just help myself. So like I said, we are testing the game out here to investigate what? You're really not helping me out here. To investigate what? Because <laughs> I've pressed R2 on this thing and it hasn't moved. Pressing R2 all now. Investigate what? Oh! That's interesting that the cat is what moves around here. Seriously, I had to investigate with him. Remember those head pots. They may be weird, but they flap around with lots of useful heads. But one little touch and they'll drop their stash. You know, a new kid on the chopping block like you. You know, I won't lie to you. I really thought this would be more because this is an exclusive as well. I really thought this would be really demanding on the PS, the emulator, for my CPU, but it's it's still managing. Nice. I really can't can't you know? I really can't complete. It seems to be running at thirty. Ow! I will do that. I wouldn't recommend playing this on anything that isn't, I mean anything slightly lower end maybe, but not much more than that. Here, I'll show you. I wouldn't recommend playing it on much things, anything much lower. Let's keep looking. There, the witch's bloomers. Nice. Dude, there's like stuff everywhere. They won't leave me alone. Who the heck are you? Oh! Every head 
has a little bit of magic to it. They react to places and objects that resemble them. Oh, why don't you just give it a try? Here, first choose the right head. Now, use the head's meow jig. Do I have to? The heck? Anyway, keep an eye out for those head symbols. Anything could happen. <laughs> no wonder they're so skinny. Oh, wow, whoa. Hey. Dude, I'm shot this is running at 30 FPS. Well, oh dear, well, never mind. Boy, I spoke too soon, didn't I? I spoke way too soon. Clearly. No, it's running really well, though. I really thought this would be way, way demanding for the CPU, but the CPU seems to be handling it because there's a lot of stuff popping in, just randomly popping in on the screen. Watch that feisty fork. It's as wicked as the witch. Ow! Remember to pick that up quick. No more heads means no more you. What are we supposed to do then? Hey! Pass through that shimmering gateway to proceed to the back of the kitchen. Now, make no mistake. Kutaro was not alone in his plight. The kitchen was already starved by unfortunates whom the Moonbear King had plucked from their beds. Oh. So, you know, I'm really confused right now. I have no idea what's going on. With keeping the fickle king fed. And it was a miserably hopeless task. But it runs! So I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget, please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe. Stick around for more epic content, man. Really shocked that this one actually ran on it. It didn't have much to say. It was really shocked. I didn't expect it to. But it ran anyway. I really don't. Wait, the fire went off a second there. Nice. I still got hit though, it's crazy. I was at the edge. But once again, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. This has been Puppeteer for the PS3. It runs. I wouldn't recommend anything much lower end running this. Like, if you like slightly 2% more or less than the ASM4790, but nothing else. Other than that, I feel like it'll be a severe bottleneck, and you won't really get the enjoyment out of it. I'll see you guys next time.